Now we have a mermaid of world, a famous mermaid. So, Hannah, you are sensational, is the only word that we can say for you. Okay, I'll take that. I was luckily born to a very artistic mother and father, a musician and a, a healer, meditator, yoga practitioner. So I was honed from an early age to have this expression and, and very supportive in my life in that way. I'm not saying I didn't have my challenges as well. Like it was definitely a life full of polarities of the experiences that I had and very much feeling separated from and you know, judged or like I had something to hide because I couldn't really be me because that did not fit in to the normal paradigm that I was growing up in. You know, I spent a lot of time growing up in India with meditation teachers and then I would go back to a small town in Australia with all these, you know, very middle class white kids who'd only ever experienced a, a tiny slice of what the world has to offer and who, who I just didn't fit in, you know. <laughs> I would bring kids home from school and there would be pictures of Indian gurus with dots on their heads and my mother saying, come and chant some Sanskrit and mantras and do some yoga what's, before what's school. <laughs> and they'd just be like, oh my Ooh, god, you're so on? weird. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for me, drawing was always this um, way of connecting to that energy that I felt very strongly was my essence. And so from a very early age, I would draw pictures of, as soon as I could draw stick figures, they had tails, you know, and, and I had dreams nearly every night of flying over clouds, over the ocean, over you know, rainforests, and, and I would even take my friends and I would teach them in my dreams. Like it's all about the feeling inside of feeling light and feeling happy, feeling connected to yourself and appreciating yourself. And then you'll just lift off. It's really simple. Let's go. Yes. You know, and yes. so that feeling, <laughs> that freedom of, of light and light and connectedness to myself and my joy is what I'm trying to translate through all the myriad of different art forms that I've engaged in in this life to like create, you know, fantasy out of reality, I guess, and bring fantasy into reality. So a lot of people meet me and, and they kind of think, oh, you're a mermaid, you're going to be like so trippy and weird and fluffy and uh -huh, like you uh -huh. think you're some fish girl. Uh -huh. And when they meet me, they say, well, I didn't expect you to be so grounded and kind of, you know, have such a, a good grasp of reality and how to yeah. operate in, in this paradigm and the system that we're in. Yeah. As I was growing up and going through high school, of course I had these very artistic urges to express myself and yet as you kind of get pushed and honed into what's acceptable, you know, it's like, well, I have to go to university and I have to like fit the interests that I have into what they're offering. And that was like, well, I guess I'll do graphic design. You know, and I get there and I'm like making logos for companies. And I'm like, where does this fit into my expression of wanting to fly? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, exactly. And so, you know, I left and I let go and I just kind of released myself from the idea that I had to fit into the world and made my world fit for me. Yes. And just started creating from a place of pure joy mm. and for the excitement of it and people actually respond to who you are. I don't think I ever would have been that successful trying to fit myself into you know, what other people would fit into because I wouldn't feel authentic. I've seen your wonderful work uh, online and you're swimming down so deep. You're swimming with these beautiful stingrays, these beautiful whales. whales sharks, dolphins, <laughs> and I've had, you know, I've been to Tonga, Fiji, Hawaii, Guadalupe, all these oh, incredible God. places around the world and, and, and seen firsthand yeah. just the crazy diversity. How do you hold your breath? As I said, my mother was a, an amazing healer, yoga teacher, you know, meditation practitioner, and so from an early age it was, you know, 10 minutes of yoga before school, and let's do some deep breathing, and let's meditate, and, and these are all the things I find out later are perfect for breath hold. Your heritage was something that you were finding difficult to integrate with your school Very and, 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 and your, it, your I felt peers. like I had to keep it. Um, secret. Yes. Like, it was like a double life, like a, yes. a super spy. Yes. <laughs> because it was very different. Very different. Wow, it's your greatest gift. Exactly. And it's like, yes. Yeah. Yes. So all those things that people perceive as, as their hidden, like secret, yeah. um, yeah. things that they 
feel the separation from often yeah. become their hugest strength. Exactly.